see, can use my iPad as a mirror as well as uh, using it to record something. So today I'm excited, not only because I'm always excited, excited, I'm either excited or I'm crashed on the floor. Who knows what the day is going to bring. However, today we've got a visitor. Um, he arrived last night. Um, just come to do a few little things on his motorhome before we go and head off to the NEC show. And he's not used to being this out in the sticks. He's rather urban, is this guy in his motorhome, if they need a clue. Um, and we were having a look on the maps and things last night. And uh, uh turns out that within... 20 minutes maybe half an hour from here there's a fishing lake and um i'm having a day off and dad is gonna take me fishing so let's see if we can catch something i've told him i've got to use my my gear it's, it's got to be done that way um yeah and it's just like eight quid or something for a day ticket so i'm gonna go see if we can get a peg and see if we can catch something watch this space look we're all all dressed and ready to go so <laughs> so we're just filling the sweet boot for the first time with all the fishing gear and then uh, yeah we're gonna head off and uh figure out where the hell these blooming lakes are uh which should be fun and by this time we will have a day fishing and we should come back and john will have finished his van completely <laughs> look at that see you can just see under there this my my little bag. Yeah, yeah. It's my my little fishing bag, and then <laughs> yeah. and then there's my entire Dad, gear, which is why he needs such a big moat home <laughs> for just himself. <laughs> so yes, onwards. We're here. There's been fish literally jumping out of the water, saying, "Mandy, use this peg." So Dad's been a love. He's setting me up here. <gasps> there's another... Have you seen the size of them? Oh dear. Thankfully, Daz is just on. That peg just there, yeah. and then I'm on this peg here, and um, and you'll be able to hear the screams UK wide if I catch anything. <laughs> So we're all going, the fish are nibbling. We keep nicking my bait or it keeps falling off, whichever way. Ooh. Nope, we're all right. I knew it'd do something like that. We have a Daz, who has just set up his, his rig. Yep. Put it over there. Ready to go. Who do we reckon is gonna catch a fish first? I can tell you what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exciting stuff. Beautiful golden colours. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you something. The thing I like about fishing is that you're excited whoever catches the fish. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> he's caught some. And see that tree? They've literally, they've just been hiding under that tree. So uh, he's been baiting and playing the waiting game. Nice one, Daz. Thank you very much. Back to my bread. I'm not eating it, though. Yeah, you've got one. <laughs> yeah, dude. <Yay! laughs> it's a fish. Yeah, you can just put it down here, yeah. That is a roach. Hello, Mr. Roach. It's quite a nice roach. Hook's just in the lip, so that should be pretty easy to get out. Hello, sweetie. I'll be kind. That is open in its mouth waiting. There you go. 
Hey! And there we go. <laughs> right, just I stop breathing and then you bring him up and then I'll try and put him in the net. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna have to go in and hello. Look at that man. <laughs> Yeah. Go. You, you caught a fish. Yay! A big fish. A big That's a nice carp, man. It's like seventy pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get her back. Let's get him back in one. There we go. Yes. <sighs> big <Yeah>. fish. <laughs> I tell you what I've just figured out though, need a stronger reel. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I won't I won't do a high five with you now with fish <laughs> No, you can uh, you can go away. <laughs> oh nice one. <laughs> Second fish. Third if you count the rope. Yeah, first. well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Third fish. Yay! Yeah, oh, that's a stinks. baggy one. <laughs> oh, All right, yeah. let's get it back. Yep, let's get him back in. Come on, fella. There we go. There we go. And the light. Get the feeling like you're being watched. They're just sat there watching me. Look at them all. Literally just fish everywhere. Apart from taking my bait, of course. But you know, I've caught three fish today. So I don't mind. Look at them all. Whoa, that's a biggie there. Look at that. I caught another one. I can handle this one myself though. Hello. Is that a roach again? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. I'll just sort this out now. You don't need to see much. You ready? Off you go. There we go. Roach don't smell. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can't do. So what are we on now then? Uh, That's, is that seven? Minutes. Four three to four, you. Four three to me. Yeah. <laughs> We're not counting like that though. It's just seven. Group effort. Group effort. <laughs> seven. Good call. So just got back to the unit, eating cold leftover dominoes because I've not eaten anything. I'm a very happy lady indeed. There's my fishing gear just tucked over the shoulder there. Four fish, four fish. So the first one, Daz class that as a tiddler and he says that we have to stay until I catch a carp. Then I caught what for me was a big carp and then a smaller carp and then another roach just to bookend the thing, why not? So yeah, happy as Larry. Daz caught three, I caught four, not a competition, not a competition at all. However, we are all eating leftover pizzas. My standards are far, far lower than everybody else's. Daz has warmed his pizza. Oh yeah. John's pizza is in the air fryer. I don't care. It's exciting. You know why it's exciting? Because we're packing. And you know what we do? We hate packing. We're not used to packing because we normally have everything with us. And now everything's in two vans, so now we have to try and, and, and sort that out too, as well as trying to fit all the food in. Um, just snacks, really. We'll probably eat out most of the time we're there. Um, but yeah, it, especially in an unfinished van, that still doesn't really have many cupboards to put things in. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all the fun. And... Um, and I'm trying not to be all like, I tidy up after myself all the time. Someone doesn't. So if I can't see it, it shouldn't bother me. Eh? That's the way to do it. So yes, I've done two videos. They're uploading here at the moment. Two videos ready. 
uh, getting this one sorted. So I've got content in, <laughs> in the bag. You just get to hear me waffling, basically, so I can get something short and sweet out before the show again and um, get my fish in. I mean, there's not lots in there because we were too busy fishing. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it's all good and exciting. So uh, yeah, we've just got a couple of things to do on the way down there and then it's all go, go, go. Right, we're off on holidays. Uh, not that it's going to be much of a holiday, but it's going to be loads of fun. Um, so yes, just got a couple of things to do on the way, ain't we? Oh yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get going. It wasn't stressy at all getting ready to go, was it? No. It'd be so much nicer when we literally just... Oh, you're not properly. You're not properly. <laughs> you're naughty. And we've got Daz with us. We're in a pub. Are we surprised? No. It's been planning room. <laughs> planning room. We are planning, planning. Oh, a bit of R&D. Awaiting snacks. Yeah. Yes, awaiting <laughs> snacks. Chicken wing challenge at Brewers Fairs, don't you know? So it's really good. But yeah, we're just kicking our heels a little bit, waiting for some time, and then we're going to get going in a couple of hours to the pub we stay in near the NEC mm -hmm. and then we're going to meet up with a couple of other people and get the plan down I'll get your plan of attack sorted for the next week for the next week which is going to be busy but busy in a brilliant way so yes it's better than building vans yeah, it's busy 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh bye um, on the way down I decided that um, I just had a little bit of a brain fart like you do that I was going to box in my fridge properly, turn it into a step and put a cushion on it and have it as an actual seat, a boxed in seat properly. It'll ventilate out of the back. Um, but I keep using it for sitting down and putting my socks on and stuff. So I'm like, okay, I want to do that with the with it. it I could have convinced John right then to turn the van round and go back. <laughs> I don't care about the NEC anymore. I just want to go and build that because I've had the idea and it seems really cool. So I can't wait to get back now to, uh, to do that because I'm going to get a bit of time by myself while John gets his uh, seats and everything sorted so yeah exciting oh we're at the show today getting ready for a walk round I've got me trusty camera wanker <laughs> to come through so uh, yeah it's going to be good fun we just said hi to my rider and uh, and yeah time to go and have a look round hall one is just there and now we actually get to be visitors instead of uh, joining in with all the exhibits and get to go and have a look around. Excuse the daft hat, I called. That's day one done of the Camping Caravan and Motorhome Show at the NEC. And my goodness, it's huge. That's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was a good day. We met loads of people and it's really good. Managed to get my new Brit Stops book for this year. So I'm happy with that, and we are both absolutely pooped. Come here, you. Oh yeah, I'm knackered. I'm just heading for the van because that's my mission. I mission. Can with the mission. Mission van. We're going to sit down and relax. We need to. We've got a table booked at the place where we're staying tonight at half seven, so that'll give us enough time to chill out for a little bit um, and do that. So that's nice. But yes, the place is huge. So if you come in, then you need to give yourself time. Look, look. Cheese. Great British cheese. It's like my channel. <laughs> you know, it's cheesy. I like that yeah? It's wasted. Wasted. Day two at the NEC. And it's freezing. And it's been raining. But it's not inside. It's full of wonderful stalls and wonderful things and don't worry if you don't do shop bought motorhomes and and vans and things don't worry about it there's so many accessories everyone needs folding kettles yeah everyone needs chairs sit around campfires solo stoves here so there's loads and loads of good things to do even if you don't like shop bought and you want to build your own van so i'm going to go find the press office because that is a bonus of this and i can get myself a nice cup of coffee and then because it's, it's not open yet and then get ready for the day. And I'm going to go and catch a load of things that John wasn't too bothered about yesterday. So I'll just go and have a good old look around at all the stuff and see him later. Hello, I'm still here. Can you tell? I mean, this, look at this. This is the camping zone and it's full of fairy lights and colour and it's so pretty and there's vans and there's everything. Here, we have 
wine mania. Wine. Wine, fairy lights, colour. It's like Mandy made it. It honestly though, it is just so cool. Um it is Thursday today. I'm hoping to get the video out by tomorrow. Um so if it's Friday and you see this, then yay, go me. But otherwise, hopefully, if you've got here, let me know if you've had a good time. But next time, anybody that's the slightest bit interested in anything to do with camping, which I'm sure y'all are, just come here. Honestly, it is well worth it. Well worth it. So now we are going to go and, because I'm still with them rum buggers there, we have a John, Daz and a Mevy. And I think we're going to go back to the vans for a sit down before we go out for some food later. So, yes, it has been a good one. So thanks for coming along and joining me at the NEC for a little bit and a bit of fishing. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.